Okay, so what I'm going to do is talk about how to draw a wooden mannequin. Um, I need a better camera setup because usually, of course, you would want to be drawing it where it's on the table looking at right there. So I'm just going to lay it down. I don't want you to lay it down. I want you to keep it um, on your table, probably about arm's length away. Um, in the classroom, we kind of keep it in the middle of the tables. And what I want to do is I want to draw what I see. What we're going to focus on when it comes to the mannequin is visual measuring as well as actual measuring. So if I looked at this mannequin from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet, it's 12 inches. So on my paper, I could draw myself a line, right? That goes from top to the bottom, or I could give myself like a little like line, little tick marks there to let me know that this mannequin is going to go from there all the way to the, there. Um, what I want to make sure that I do is to measure the parts. So if I were to use the head as a unit of measurement, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just a little bit more. Most mannequins or adults are about seven to seven and a half heads tall. So when we're using the mannequins, we want to use the head sort of as a unit of measurement. So I can go here as I can use my fingers and pull it over and put a tick mark there. Of course, you could also use an actual ruler. I just find that this kind of slows me down, right, for the size of the head. And you can go and measure each part. You can measure like from head to the butt and go, okay, there's the bottom of the waist. Notice that the legs are a lot longer than the top half of the body. That's probably the thing that most people make mistakes of. They get short leg syndrome. They make the legs way too short. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, and my hopefully my view doesn't look too bad, is I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly draw in the shape. And the head is tilted a little bit, so I'm actually gonna put that in too. And then when it comes to the body, you know, I can measure that body if I really wanted to, to say, okay, that's how tall that body is. And I'm gonna go in and draw in the basic shape. So I started the head, right? I just started the head and kind of build in the basic shapes. And I'm drawing things the size that I see them. So these, I'm trying to make exactly the size that I see them. Then I've got like the waist here. And the nice thing is, is I can totally adjust this. So I think I made this too small, right? So I can go back in here and add that in and fix it to make it the right size. So with the legs, I can measure, you know, how far the knee is. can't see the feet because of the this is blocking it but notice that the knees are on a diagonal so this knee is going to be a little bit lower than this one and I can fix the shape of it later right now I'm just trying to get in the shapes that I see okay and then when it comes to the arm I can use the negative space or angles to notice where things line up So I'm just getting in the basic shapes. This one is close to the body. It's down about the, looking to see where things line up. So notice how the wrist is down on the thigh and the hand is overlapping the thigh, right? In my image, I'm sorry, this is blocking my feet, but you'd wanna draw it from head to toe. Then if you have time, then you can go back in and fine tune it, right? Really looking at the shape that you see, right? Maybe use a line of symmetry on some of these body parts that are more 3D. You can add some of those inner details. So here I've got my chest, there's a divot there. 
I can use my eraser to kind of clean things up. You can adjust things. I can remeasure. There's nothing wrong with saying I'm going to measure the width of things, right, as well as the length. And when you're measuring, you can measure anything you need to. It's not cheating. Artists do that kind of stuff all the time. So if I want to work on the symmetry of this bicep, I can go in there and put a line of symmetry. Maybe shrink that up a little bit. You can see the underside of this, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that in too. So the thickest part of the thigh is towards the top, and it comes out a little bit for at the knee. I'm going to make this smaller. So notice I'm making it changes. I'm making it, you know, things that are different. It's okay to correct your mistakes so that it looks a little bit more like the one that's sitting in front of you. Try to draw the calf. This part is really long. I think I made it too short. So I can break out the eraser if I needed to. Sometimes the details overlap on top of each other. So this forearm is in front of the elbow. Okay. So that's probably as good as it gets for right now. Much better if I did it like this, but that will give you at least a start.